researching Glove, mm -hmm. researching with Soma, is it going to be enough? That, that is really the question, and interestingly enough, um, talking about both Blob and Tono, those are our only repeat characters in this mm -hmm. bracket. Everybody else yes, is an right. individual character, so uh, this is not the first or last time we're going to see either of those characters, even in the beginning of Top 8. All right, they are ready to go. Here we go. Everybody at home, I hope you're ready. We are about to kick off the first part of the winner's half of Melty Blood Type Lumina here at EVO. Yeah, Tono Shiki being pilot of Uncle Aki. He's definitely got to make his way in, got to create the space. Tono with some really strong basic game plan. Uh, can he you know, find openings in Misoma's keep away game? Or will Misoma just, you know, not let Uncle Aki play to get immediately start that moon drive? Like right off the bat, here we go. Yeah, that's something that the Japanese players highlighted that Americans use their moon drives very Absolutely, differently than yes. the Japanese players do. So that is something that I know they are not prepared oh. for. Oh, we get a big opening here from Uncle Aki. The first real damage of this and went ahead and spent their bar of Magic Circuit yeah, as well. big opportunity because Misoma used their Moon Drive, so no more uh-oh. Oh, big overhead here. Let's see how this goes. Okay, finish it out. Mm -hmm. yep. And Misoma, I mean, we got a lot of meter to work with. No Moon Drive, though, which might be a little more important. We can see Scan oh. Shield, though, with a long roll. Oh. That Miss delayed it. egg counter was really scary. Huge heat, though. We're regenerating a lot. We have three meter here, too, so we're going to definitely see something dumb, but no conversion. No, this is looking... Oh! Definitely first match of the day, but this is the Masoma special. You go ahead, do the double down B, double down C, yeah. finish out the combo. Really Uncle well done. Aki, Uncle Aki getting air unblockable. Oh. That's huge. And Masoma takes the first one. This is already so explosive. Wait, yeah, I blinked it. Wouldn't Masoma get more Moon Drive to do it again? <laughs> I have no idea. And the thing with Blob is that he operates really well with Moon, so he's got to keep that going. All right, we do get a little cross through there, get the B counter to the shield. Ooh. The overhead, he had committed to the low shield, so now this is a lot of damage. He's uh -oh. down the corner. Uncle Aki, great opportunity here. And again, Masoma kind of out of gas. Uncle Aki got to be feeling good about this one. A lot of opportunities here. Yeah, See what we got. Yeah, hard knockdown has two bars behind the circuit. Shield oh. the shield, the A counter takes it, but he techs out in the air. And we see Misoma definitely has been getting the advantage in these uh, shield interactions so far. So, you know, even though he's burned his resource a lot of time, he's able to make that deficit. Again, there it is. You can't be jumping against that. If Block has that moon drive, you're just going to get air unblockable. And just like that, a lot of damage. I like the way that Masoma decided, instead of doing his traditional knockdown and then charge, he went ahead and did the uh, launcher. We got a tech there, though. Yeah, that's actually very clutch here. Uncle Aki, very low health. If we could get a heal, maybe, oh! but nope, there it is, 5A, 2A. Catching him standing up. All right, Masoma, that was looking clean. Uncle Aki definitely got caught by those moon drive air unblockable several times, so... You're gonna need some adjustments so I can see that being a hugely problematic. There's a counter moon drive though. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the Japanese players are starting to counter the moon drive much more quickly to just adapt to what's going on on screen. Alright, B counter once again is just kind of neutralized by the fact that Soma's just blocking and waiting. Yeah, but Soma definitely just waiting for the moon drive to get end down and you know, he will be ahead in the moon drive resource game. Alright, opened up by Uncle Aki here with that overhead. He's gonna carry him all the way to the corner. Uncle Aki has a lot of meter up there. Yep, yep gonna have to go ahead and spend the bar get the hard knockdown and overhead. Oh, he put himself in the corner. Yeah, that was surprising, but it's going to pay off dividends. Here we go. All right. Oh, I like that the, yeah. the triple A could, and then the jump back in. Could possibly do one more D here off from 2A starter. I don't know if this will kill. Oh, wow. Never mind. Uh, maybe? Oh! oh, no. oh okay. Wow, that in the air yeah. was so... Like, he, the combo was over, but the way that he was able to dash in and then finish the combo there before Masoma had a chance yeah. to recover was really smart. Yeah, not letting Masoma get a chance at that round. I think very huge. If you're not familiar, Melting Blood is a game where you do regenerate your carry over resources over the rounds. So there, there is a lot of subtlety as far as like how you actually finish your play in each individual round. And so Masoma is now in ice mode, so his projectiles are bigger. Yeah. And it's going to be enough, more I think. Screen. Oh my god, he's yeah. almost perfect Yeah, that. we didn't even need to spend any meters, so going into round three here, both players with three bar. Okay. Uh, uh, Should BC all oh, just stare at each other. Yeah, this, this is, is very tense. Larry, but no confirm off of it. And nice tech. Okay, went for a low. Oh! Let Uncle Aki have the opportunity. He's going to go ahead and take this combo all the way to the corner. And with the knockdown, and then, oh, he put himself on the other side again, but the throw to get Misoma in the opposite Oh corner. my god, oh, the no! long health shield! They've been catching Uncle Aki multiple times now, and that's going to cost him a lot. Able to sneak out here, Misoma, on the offense. 
Good blocking out of Uncle Aki. Doing a great job. Uncle Aki so he gets the larynx. That move. <laughs> Here it is. Meter? Yes, yeah. we will. Absolutely. You have so much to spend. And look at his moon. He's got a lot. All right, we do have moon drive activation on the side of the Soma. Yeah, the Soma, though. No dice. Nice. Oh, no. The commitment to the shield in the air. That many couldn't do anything to land it. And that is the death of him. It's 1-1. One, one. Wow. Okay, Uncle Aki. It was looking very one sided for Soma in game one. These adaptations, though. They're, that is one thing that we're seeing. All of these players in top eight are so good at making adaptations on the fly. So let's see what Masoma does now in response to Uncle Aki taking that one. I mean, it's really just been the Laird, I feel like, the just good moments to try and just lunge in with. Tono has just been what's been making out uh, the, you know, the damage race in Uncle Aki's favor here. Now, as I say that, Masoma getting a very nice hit. We'll take the damage. Yeah, and then he goes ahead with that knockdown and the space gets some moon back. Yep, you know how important this moon is for being able to drive cancel and force the block with what a confirm. Just like that gets the charge GC in the air. Gonna go ahead and finish it. Oh the moon just to get the extra damage. I, it's not enough to kill, oh, but no. it, you know what? We'll see if it pays off here. The Soma though probably feeling comfortable that at least you can build some drive to end the round. I mean it's gonna be very difficult for Tono to actually make this comeback here, but we'll see. 45 seconds on clock, plenty of time, okay. but there's the air dash. Yeah. JC is such a strong button on block, and especially because you can charge it, so that overhead just went ahead. It's okay. Yeah, and the nice thing is that uh, Summer was able to build a decent amount of meter from just kind of stalling out that round, and might need it actually, as he is in trouble here. Uncle Aki with one knockdown. Yeah, Uncle Aki working on his fourth bar of Magic Circuit and has full moon oh. as well. Oh, that's the overhead. He has every opportunity to take a ton of health off of his own here. Yeah, got him out of the corner, but we're seeing the wall to wall here almost to the other corner now. Just throw the oh, back dash. Yeah, that back dash just avoided a ton of damage. Tech. And oh. now this is the opening from Asoma. Yeah, the call from Asoma after his third gets tech. He's gonna spend the meter. He's confident he wants to try and make a play here. I mean, if he can win this round, that's that's the game. So right. he's okay. going for it, looks like. Yeah, that throw, too. That's really unexpected. Oh. Attempt, that is huge! This Uncle Aki getting opened up! Oh, oh my, my god! god. God. Yeah, they, they, they look, the players look at each other like, you know, I don't really know what, what happened there, but all right. That um, was, yeah. that happened, that reverse just happened so quickly because mm -hmm, Musoma mm -hmm. was so on the back foot in yes, that round. Yes. And all of a sudden, just like you were saying, he yeah. has, he's built all of this meter. And then he was, Aki was stuck in the corner. He yeah. had nothing. And then in that position, yeah. it's actually incredibly difficult to see what's coming yes, out from yes. Blob as far as the protection.